Do I believe God has plans for us? Well, let me tell you that in a story. This man, he wants to know his future, so he goes to fortune teller. Fortune teller has a hood on. He walks in. There's a velvet table, crystal ball, little lights. Sits down at the table, and uh, he immediately feels kind of on edge, right? He asks the fortune teller, am I going to be rich? Fortune teller takes a second, channels his energy, looks in the crystal ball, looks at the man and goes, yeah, I see a lot of riches in your future. Guy feels ecstatic. Awesome. Guy, man, the guy goes home, he sits down and he waits and he waits and he waits. 50 years later, he dies. He goes up to heaven. He sees a fortune teller and he goes, what well, gives? Told me I was going to be rich. This guy goes, yeah, if you had done so much as clean the bottom of your bed, then you would have been. There would have been. You would have seen the deed there. And uh, that deed would have given you entitlement to all the riches. So my point here to you guys while I'm sitting in this Costco parking lot is to understand that I think God gives his best plans to his hardest workers. It's been seen in the Bible multiple times in the parable of the talents where the man, one man gets five talents, one man gets three one man gets one. The guy with five and three double theirs. They get more talents. The guy with one buries it and God gets pissed at that guy. I think that's just how God works. And I can see that working here in the human world where people who work harder just seem, seem to get more. They seem to be trusted with more resources. People who provide more value for others like Elon Musk, like Jeff Bezos with Amazon, people who work hard to provide others value get rewarded with more value. That's the way the world and the universe works. So I say this because there was a philosophy that was instilled in me probably around uh, 2018, 2019. And they essentially said, don't worry about it, man. God's got your back. And uh, you just sit and you wait and it'll happen. And I waited and I waited and I waited. And five years later, I noticed my life had not changed. I'd gotten a little bit happier, sure, a little bit more calm. A little bit sure, more sure of myself. But I looked around and I said, I feel like I've, like nothing's really, nothing's really changed. And then it really dawned on me that as a fighter, if I didn't do anything, I would not improve as a fighter. My fitness would not improve. My skills would not improve. And so as a participant now in the marketplace and someone who is trying to grow their finances, I need to do more. I need to take action so that way God can send better plans in my direction. So that is my hope for you guys to understand that God probably does have a plan for you. And I think everyone has their own plan. I think that's in your own imagination. God gave us the imagination. So I imagine that he's putting in seeds for what we want in our mind for our imagination is probably what he wants. So I hope these grand designs come to fruition. I hope the things that you want that God put it into your soul can come to mind, but it's only going to get there through work. If we sit around and wait for it to happen. It's not going to work. We're going to be like the man who went to the fortune teller. We got to tell the fortune teller, Hey, you know what? You were right. Sorry. I didn't clean the bottom of my bed. Sorry. I didn't take even a little bit of effort. Take some effort in your life, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.